Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise in support of my amendment to H.R. 1062, the SEC Regulatory Accountability Act, introduced by my friend, Chairman Scott Garrett. His bill is an important step forward to ensure the SEC abides by the President's executive order and also enhances the SEC's existing cost-benefit analysis requirements. My amendment assures that rules adopted by the PCAOB, MSRB, and other national securities associations under the purview of the SEC uh, are, are, have uh, the same requirements uh, as the SEC itself and requires the SEC to attest that these associations are in compliance with its own economic assessment standards. These subordinate organizations can develop standards and rules that have the same effect as federal regulations. As rules put forth by these organizations generally go through a final SEC rulemaking process, they should be subject also to that same cost-benefit analysis. As we saw with the SEC's proxy access rule that was thrown out by the D.C. federal court for lack of proper assessment of the rule's economic costs, not only is this practice good government, but it's common sense. In light of reports that the SEC is considering discretionary rulemakings that would impose additional unnecessary costs, result in, resulting in little or no benefit, and being of questionable constitutionality, we must ensure that the SEC and the associations under its purview abide by sound economic analysis. With our economy still struggling in many areas in Virginia's 5th District, nearing double-digit unemployment, we must ensure that our regulations are making it easier for our businesses to access the capital they need to create the jobs in our communities. I thank Chair Chairman Garrett for his work on this important issue, and I urge support for my amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlemen, reserve.